Thanks, Joy. Well, this past year has seen an influx of immigrants hoping to start new lives here in the United States. Many of them have continued their journey as first-generation college students. Tonight, NTTV's Jose Alonso has the story of one migrant who's part of the Mean Green family. This pandemic has given students a major headache and taken a toll on our experience. Although many students couldn't continue classes in person, it didn't quite stop some from trying. Meet Faria Ahmed. She graduated last May with her master's in accounting with a concentration in audit. Faria was not just any other college student, but an overseas immigrant from South Asia. I'm actually from Bangladesh, born and raised there. I moved to America about four and a half years ago. Bangladesh is actually a South Asian country. It's surrounded by India, next to Pakistan. It's a beautiful country. The foundation that my school built for me, um, the discipline that they helped me develop really resonated with me because it really helped me grow as a person when I gained independence. Maria describes her home country as beautiful with lots of green and delicious spicy food. She was taught English from the British perspective, but was always up to date on American culture. So what was it like getting situated in America? Definitely a huge culture shock, but you know what? I was ready. This has been a dream to come to America since 2012. And here I am now, and I'm proud and happy. Faria immigrated to Dallas when she was 12 years old to explore opportunity. After high school, she chose to attend UNT to continue her education. She said it wasn't her first choice, but if she had a reset button, she would do it all over again. The support that I received from not just faculty members, but people, friends, I feel like everybody deserves to experience that because it really helps you grow as a person. I wouldn't say it's all because of me. I think it's because of the love and support that I get from not only my professors, my friends, my parents. I wouldn't be here without them. I wouldn't be so hungry for success if they hadn't pushed me. For NTTV News, I'm Jose Alonso.